In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect MA3D to MA2 on PC. This method will apply to the software release 3.1.2.5. In previous versions of MA2, there was a join button, and that is no longer the case. So if you cannot find your join button, if you're following other tutorials, this is the video you want to watch. So here I have my main on PC window, and over on the other screen, I have uh, MA3D. The main thing you need to understand about connecting these two programs is that they need to be able to communicate over MANET. And they do that by using the network adapters that are installed in your computer. So for example, if we go into the settings of MA3D under the file menu, we go down to network, we can see that uh, the MANET IP address in MA3D is referencing, referencing this Ethernet 3 connection at uh, the IP address 192.168.0.5. And since MA3D and OnPC are on the same computer in this example, uh, we need to make sure that we are using the same interface, uh, the same network interface between MA3D and OnPC. So if we go back over into OnPC and open our setup window and then go to MA network control, we can see here that our station IP is uh, 192.168.0.5. It's the same network adapter um, as we have in MA3D over here. But I have not started a session yet in on PC. As you can see, our tab says standalone. Um, that's because the console is by itself and not actually communicating over the network. So down here, you can choose an IP address from a list of connected adapters. Uh, you may, if you have the loopback interface installed, you'll see 127.0.0.1. You can use that as well if you're only planning on connecting within your own computer um, on MANET. But for example, if I had uh, MA3D on a separate computer, you would want to make sure you're connected to an interface that is able to talk to the outside world. So I have 192.168.0.5 selected in my station IP, and I'm going to go ahead and create a session, my session number one. All right, so we see once we have created the session, we have a green session ID, session one, with our master IP. And then we just wanna go back and confirm that MANET is talking to the same interface. And then hit okay. And we can see down here, it is still not connected and you won't see a join button uh, like you would have previously because the method of connecting this has changed since previous versions. So we're going to go into the setup menu again, and instead of going into network control, we're going to go into network configuration. And this is the window where you see everything that is connected to your session. So if we had consoles connected, they'd appear under the consoles tab, obviously. And under on PC, we see we have um, my computer that I'm using uh, in this example. But if we go to the 3D tab, we will see that there is nothing connected yet until we click on add present. Um, I'll just delete that again, delete this real quick and show you. Um, you can hit add present if uh, that's easiest for you. If you also just go to add, it'll pop up with which station or stations that you wanna individually add. So if we go ahead and click, we'll see that our uh, station has been added, our 3D station. And if we go ahead and right click on session member, we will see, if we go over to MA3D, it is now connected and loaded the show file and spun the lights around into their correct positions. So um, yeah, that is how you connect. And this is just a little fashion show thing that I was designing slash programming. Um, and you can see our connection status is down below here. And over in the network control, you can choose uh, which user you would like to uh, be viewing in MA3D. So you can have multiple users um, logged in in different MA3D um, stations so they can be viewing different things. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully this uh, maybe solved a little bit of a mystery uh, for connecting these two applications together. It is a little bit of a process, but it is uh, really a good way of doing it since it allows you to have a lot more options with how you 
deal with 3D in your show files and on bigger shows, it's uh, a big help. And once again, just to kind of summarize, if you're on the same PC, you need to be connected to the same network adapter. Whether that is a loopback interface where you're at IP address 127.0.0.1, or if it is on an actual interface that you are using to connect to MANET, uh, doesn't matter. If it's if you're connecting MA3D to the same PC, you need to be referencing the same network adapter in both programs. And just as a quick final example here, uh, this is the one we just connected. But I went ahead and added um, my, my little Surface Pro 4 into the mix. And if I go and add in our, in our 3D tab, you can see that the uh, Surface pops up as well. So you can see this really is a good way of controlling um, the MA3D integration with MA on PC. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for future videos and happy programming.